Hello gamers, welcome back to the freaking channel. My name is Roll Easy. I'm so excited to be back. I didn't post anything yesterday, so I'm pumped today. Got a few videos I plan on coming out with, but right now we have a semi solo. Yeah, semi solo unlimited money glitch. It's a car duplication glitch. I'll get more into it in just a moment, but before we get started, please like the video, hit that blue thumbs up, subscribe to me if you haven't already, and turn on post notifications so you can be notified the instant I come out with any more fresh and informative dope content. All right, so what you're gonna need to pull this off is a garage, preferably, preferably this one right here, filled with elegies or any car that you wanna honestly duplicate over and get rid of. It could be street cars, anything. I use street cars. You need the MOC with the personal vehicle storage and the car you wanna dupe inside. You definitely need custom plates, especially on the car you're duping, and you need one friend for like two minutes, not even that long. This is why it's semi-solo. You just need him for a few minutes. And a garage, this garage has a flat surface in front of it so that we can get the MOC animation, and you want to be in a free aim invite-only session. All right, this is the exact garage I have, Unit 2 Popular Street. It's 142 grand. It's not bad. And I'm going to show you what it looks like in your friend's point of view, what he's going to be doing right here, all right? So... I just parked my car right there. Basically, in the real scenario, in the you know the real situation, I would be in my car sitting at that black alert screen. My friend would be here in the truck, and he would start you know pushing me. You want to get a nice push right there in the front just to get a good angle, and then from there, go ahead and you know position yourself right behind, and then just push. There you go. So, and he would just continually push you right up. A, about there honestly that's even too close but you know right there you would hear the little ding noise and that means that you can go inside of your moc that's what you want all right so right here we're gonna get started shout out to my boy joker and my boy stumpy for helping me out here oh and shout out to the founders by the way as well founders are morphe over on seven sins and lost glitches i'll leave both their descriptions or i'll leave both their links down in the description so you guys can check them out cool guys but yeah, so I'm just reparking my, you know, my car in here. I'm at my garage. It has a bunch of street cars in it, and you need it to be filled with something so that you can get the garage full alert. All right, so I have street cars, and I'm duping over them, and I have a custom plate on here, guys. Remember, you need a custom plate to do this. So now I'm sitting right here at the the alert screen, the garage full alert. This is what you want. So as you can hear, my friend Joker begins to. You know, he proceeds to start pushing me and start hitting me into my MOC. This is the first time he ever did this, so he had a little bit of trouble, but it's all good. He uh, eventually got me there, and you're going to hear the uh, little ding noise in a second, and that noise signifies that you can press right on the D-pad to go in. Now, once I press right on the D-pad, I'm going to wait for that MOC door to open. There you go. And I'm going to hit A to enter. All right? There you go. You guys heard that? MOC door opened right when it hit the ground. About a second or two later, I pressed A. Now, there's a few scenarios that you can go in. I went into the black, infinite black loading screen. Now, when this happens, you can tell your friend right now to go into a different session with a different targeting mode than, you know, than free aim. And you can join him and you accept the first alert, deny the second. As you can see right here, I'm going to accept this one, deny the second. And look at that. I spawned inside of my car. That's what you want to, you know, that's really what you want to see. That's the best result to get this glitch going. Right there, the car is duplicated already. Now, normally, this glitch would spawn all your dupes inside of your garages. But this time, we're going to do it a bit differently, actually. So, right here, I'm actually going to press start and go to online jobs. And I'm going to start any Rockstar created mission. Now, what this is going to do is unbrick the car for me. So that when I go to request it, it's not going to be bricked outside. Okay, so I'm going into the job right here. I'm at the setting screen, and right here at the setting screen, you're just going to simply back out, and you're going to end up right back in the MOC, and then you're going to proceed to walk out. Now, this is where the glitch gets different. Normally, we could just jump into Creator now. If you saw my old video, I'll leave all the old videos and working money glitches linked down in the description, so go check that out. Normally, we would go into a Creator or just keep duping like that, and we would have our friend keep pushing us each time. We don't need that anymore. Your friend is done. He's already helped us out, you know, enough. That's it. He can go off and do whatever the hell he wants. So what I'm going to do is go to the vehicle section of the interaction menu and request personal vehicle. Now, what this does is it literally sends a duplicate every single time. I I'm not sure. I'm not 100 percent sure how it works. I think it's because we dupe the car and it's just thinking that the last car that we used was a duplicate. So you can actually continuously do this in a loop. And I'm going to show you this in this video. Uh, hence why the video is long and guys stay through it's you know stay paying attention and listen to me throughout the whole video because I still have a lot more important information to get through 
So while I'm filling up this whole garage, I'll show you me filling up this entire garage. I do have quite a bit of info to go through and quite a bit of scenarios I could. All right. So wait, hold on. Check this out. So you see right here, I tried to enter my MOC. That's how you know it's a duplicate. The original car is still in there. This is a dupe. See, it wouldn't let me enter. And now it's going to ask me that I need to transfer a vehicle when I go in here. The, since you're driving a dupe and it's never been stored in a garage, the vehicle, the other vehicle isn't going to be transferred anywhere. Hence why I have a bunch of street cars in here, except for that XA21. So now I'm going to go over that Emperor and that's the duplicate. It just literally replaced the Emperor. The Emperor didn't get transferred anywhere. I have it in no other garages. It just replaced it with a duplicate. So now I'm going to go outside and I'm going to simply just wait. Now it takes four minutes each dupe, but at this point it's completely solo. That's why I said semi solo. You just need your friend in the very beginning. So right here, as you can see the countdown right there, you have to wait four minutes each time to request your personal vehicle. But every time you request the personal vehicle, it is a duplicate and you just rinse and repeat and do the same thing. You don't have to get glitched out anymore. It's just bringing you a dupe every single time. You just got to wait four minutes. So there you go. Garage full. You need to transfer a car and I'm going to pick one of the other street cars. And there you go. I got another duplicate. And like I said, this is just the entire, you know, this is the entire solo part of it. Hence semi solo. You need your friend in the very beginning and that's it. Now, as I just keep filling up the garage, the garage in the background, you're just going to see me, you know, uh, waiting, you know, it's a bit of fast forwarding so that it's just not crazy, crazy long. I don't want to make this video too long, but you have three outcomes. Luckily, on the first try, I was able to spawn inside the MOC. Well, not literally right inside the MOC. I got inside the uh, the black infinite loading screen. Now, that black infinite loading screen is also, is also pretty good because you can spawn inside the MOC. That's what you want. You can either spawn in the infinite loading screen, which is perfect, really. And once you do that, like I said, have a friend in a different targeting mode that you can join. If you don't have any other friend that you can join, then ask your friend that just helped you push the car to go into creator, join a, or sorry, go into creator, change his targeting mode to anything, uh, you know, except what we got. We were using, uh, in this, in this tutorial, we were using auto aim. So I told him go into a free aim session and then I'll go ahead and join you. I joined him. I got the session details. I accepted the first alert and I denied the second alert. That is what you want. And that's how I spawned inside of the MOC, literally inside the car and you know, created a duplicate that way. The other two scenarios are you can also spawn directly in the MOC, pretty much like right next to the car, you know, and that's also good. And you would proceed to do the same thing, which is start a Rockstar created mission and that's gonna unbrick the car. Now, what you don't want is you don't wanna spawn in the garage, all right? If you spawn inside of your garage on the vehicle selection menu, the, the car most likely did not duplicate. All right. For the other glitch, it might have been good where it just sends them to your garages, but we're not doing that one. We're doing this new method, which is much, much easier. Might take a little bit more time, but like I said, you just need your friend in the beginning and you just got to have patience after that. Literally just wait for four minutes to request another vehicle. And each time you request it, it's going to be a dupe. All right. And the third, <clears throat> excuse me, the third scenario that you can have is, I won't, no, wait, actually, yeah, I went through all three. So yeah, all three, you're either going to spawn in the MOC directly which is okay start a rockstar creative mission get out of there request a personal vehicle and then you know you do that over and over again the other one is you spawn inside of the garage which is bad you don't want to spawn inside the garage just back out of the vehicle selection menu and ask your friend to push you again so go inside and get your you know get your vehicle from your moc and try to dupe it one more time and then the other one is like we got in the video the infinite black loading screen and like i said join a friend in a different targeting mode accept the first alert deny the second alert those are all three scenarios that you will have. And I've, you know, explained what to do on all of them. All right. The two main ones, spawning in the MOC or the black loading screen, you're going to need to start the Rockstar created mission. So it, you know, it unbricks the car. And that's mainly it for this glitch, guys. You just keep rinsing and repeating. As you can see, I'm just replacing all these street cars with the dupe that I just keep requesting from my vehicle selection menu. It is very, very easy. All right. So if you've liked the video so far, don't forget to press the like button, hit that blue thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on post notifications, guys. I'm continuously, no other YouTuber has even posted this, I promise you. This is only on the forums. I have not seen one other YouTuber post this method, all right? This is very, very exclusive at this moment, and before it gets patched, I do want you guys to take advantage of it, okay? The director mode glitch is still working as of now, me recording this video, which is 11.32 a.m. Eastern Standard Time time so i want you to take advantage of all these glitches there's too many glitches out the dm and this one so 
take advantage. I know some people couldn't do the DM glitch. This one is much easier and you only need a friend for the very beginning. And I also wanted to go over people just writing in the comments patched. Guys, I'm not hating on anybody, okay? And as you can see right here, the whole garage is filled up, except for my XA21. I had it in there. Pretty nice car, and, you know, obviously I'm not trying to dupe over it. But guys, don't just write patched in the comments. If you do think a glitch is patched, please write why you think it's patched. But if you just write patched, that doesn't help anybody. I'm not hating on you once again, but we're all here to help each other. And if somebody just comes here and you see patched, you think they might think the glitch is patched. No, please don't do that. Actually write what is patched about the glitch. Don't just write patched because you can't hit the glitch, all right? And I will always help you guys. I'm always down to help out. So, you know, don't be intimidated. Let me know what the problem is. Maybe other people in our community can help. That's mainly what this is about. All of our subscribers are really good people, okay? And they will help you out. I've already seen a couple people help each other out, and it's great. We have a really good community here, okay? And I just want everybody to learn and to be able to do these things. Not everybody could hit the DM glitch, that's probably the one thing that I got a lot of feedback on, but a lot of good questions and a lot of people were eventually able to hit it because they kept asking me questions. Okay, that's what we need. We need people to help each other out. We need questions to be asked and we will resolve it together, guys. We're a family here and we can do it. As long as we're together, we can do it, all right? So like I said, I'm Roll Easy. Like the video, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and that's it for me. I'm out of here, guys. Peace out.